Hello and welcome to my new video from Nothing Gained But Glory, a fifth game of the Musket and Pike series. In my first video about the Battle of uh, Ferberlin, I talk a lot about rules. I tried to make that video especially rules-wise, so it will be a good thing for the people who has no idea about this system will be able to understand its basics. And today I am going to play the second uh, battle from this game, and this is Battle of Halmstad 1676. A battle between uh, Swedish and da Danish uh, armies, which was uh, fought when, uh, uh, when Danes uh, were trying to besiege one of the Swedish fort for fortresses, but the Swedish army uh, came uh, from the other side. Danes uh, tr uh, tried to make their way through, but they found that the, their way is cut off by the Swedish army. From the other hand, the Swedish army made a, sh uh, made a quick uh, march uh, that made their soldiers uh, tired at the beginning of the battle. So uh, that's uh, when, where we are starting uh, this scenario. This battle comes with the two different scenarios. First, uh, first of them, uh, is historical scenario, which starts right in the moment when, when the battle uh, was about to begin, and you can see it, it's here. It takes one, two, three, four, five, six turns to go. There is one more scenario, uh, uh, which shows all the maneuvers of the, of, of the both armies before the battle begins. It starts, uh, it takes 16 turns to play, and it starts when both armies are entering the board. So, if you prefer your battles uh, uh, when, where you have uh, more freedom of movement, when you can uh, make your own plans, then you would rather prefer playing scenario 2. But, for the purpose of, the, of this uh, video, I decided for the scenario 1, because it is definitely shorter. So, it will be easier for me to record this scenario instead of the whole uh, long 16 turns uh, of the scenario 2. So, let's start with this scenario, and it comes with several special rules. Some are about uh, terrain, so I will uh, talk more when it will be needed, because there is a lot of rules about this Philian uh, uh, river here. So, cro crossing this river is, uh, is really, really hard. There are some uh, rules about this Ashpalbaken uh, stream here, so crossing it will be harder as well, but f uh, any, any other rules. First of all, the whole battlefield is covered with wheat, with heat. This means that uh, cavalry gets plus one negative modifier for all interception rolls, so it is definitely harder to get an interception. Next, when they are uh, Making, uh, getting their mom momentum ma marker, they are getting not plus two, like always, but only plus one. So it is not, uh, not as good as it was. Next, uh, the weather is rainy. This means that all infantry fire gets minus one modifier for their uh, uh, die rolls. And finally, there are rules about uh, Danish breakout. This means that uh, since Danes' idea was to make their way through, so uh, Danish player gets additional victory points for every, each unit uh, uh, that gets a cavalry pursuit. It definitely it uh, simply pursues enemy off map, and uh, it makes their way through. So, this, uh, instead of usual situation when you don't want to get uh, cavalry pursuit for your unit, uh, when you are playing with Danes in this battle, sometimes you would like to get this cavalry pursuit. Next thing is that Swedes get additional unit here. This uh, Leaf, uh, reg uh, leaf re Regiment here <coughs> is not mentioned in the setup, but it is in the uh, special scenario rules in the Swedish option number 9. Uh, it says that historians are not pretty certain how many of the cavalry units were involved in this combat, <coughs> in this battle. So, you, uh, some says it was uh, 
uh, six squadrons, some say it was nine. And uh, this unit allows you to play as they would be nine. I think it would uh, be uh, good because it, it definitely makes Swedish player easier to play and <clears throat> they are not in very easy situation at the beginning of the game. Why? Because uh, their infantry all starts arm formation shaken. This shows the situation when this infantry was uh, basically tired after a long march into the battle. Also, notice that a lot of infantry units in this game are uh, marked with icon of the infantry with uh, artillery. Uh, these units are basically uh, heavy infantry with uh, regimental artillery. They are just like infantry, they are not any special, save to the fact they have their own uh, table in the heavy infantry muskets table. Uh, so uh, instead of using this part of the table, they are using that part of the table. And is that all? Well, there is one more thing I think I would like to talk about before there was no uh, chance to talk about it uh, before. Uh, the, I mean slopes. In each of these games, special scenarios tells us if slopes are steep or gentle. In this uh, battle, all slopes are steep. So this means that all the borders between a level of high are steep. If they are gentle, they don't have much of use. But if they are steep, th this can be a problem. Because as long as your unit is not in the open formation, uh, it suffers one formation hit and spends one additional movement point when it moves up or down the steep slope. So it can be a real problem for some units to move uh, like that. Especially uh, since they will, it will cause them uh, to get a formation hit. Same goes to the stream. If you are crossing the stream, uh, you always spend one additional movement point and you get a um, uh, formation hit. So uh, in this battle we will probably meet some problems with terrain. But well, let's check it out. Okay, I think that's all when it comes to the uh, basics about this game. We will find more stuff later as the game goes on. As for now, let's start the turn one and uh, we are starting with initiative phase. So, Swedes have all their three wings under receive charge, and uh, sorry, Danes, and Swedes have all their three wings under make ready. So, uh, definitely Swedes have an initiative and they can choose their first wing to activate. I think I will start with this right uh, cavalry wing. Oh, one more thing I need uh, to uh, talk about. So, this is uh, what, what kind of wing we have. Because uh, in this game, in, uh, in this battle, we have two scenarios and uh, some uh, wings are different uh, in the first and the second scenario. We are playing the first scenario, so for Danes, these two wings are not cavalry wings. Yes, uh, this is pretty interesting because they contain both infantry and artillery units. And because of that, they are treated as uh, infantry wings. In the scenario 2, uh, they are both cavalry wings instead. So this is something that uh, can be confusing a bit. But as for now, we are activating this wing and they are cavalry wing. So uh, what do I what, what I want to do with them? Uh, do I want to charge instantly on the enemy or do I want to move uh, first? When I have a make ready, I can move uh, quite easily. But if I get a charge, I would, uh, it would be easier to get a continuation. So I think I will try to change my order into charge. So what I, what I have? Minus two from the wing commander, minus one from the army commander adjacent, so it's minus three, and minus one because I have a cavalry wing. So total modifier is minus four. I got eight. Eight minus four is four but I am under make ready and this is best order if you want to change your order into any other kind of order. So I need zero to five uh, to get into, uh, f uh, into charge. So I am allowed to change my order. And these guys are now charging onto the enemy. 
All right, let them do. One. And now you can see there are four hexes from this Swedish, uh, sorry, Danish unit. Uh, no, they cannot intercept this movement. Why? Because there is steep slope. And steep slope produces something called dead zone. Uh, dead zone extends uh, one hex from the steep slope and uh, units cannot uh, intercept through the dead zone. So as long as this unit is not here, then they cannot intercept. So they spend one movement point and then they are moving here. Then they are moving uh, and they now spend two movement points. So, I mean, they moved through the two hexes, so they gain a momentum. Now they are moving here and now they are still in the dead zone. And now they finally can intercept because their in interception wouldn't be through the dead zone. But they have to make a roll. First of all, they are under receive charge, so they it is hard. First, second, they have plus six. So I mean, they have six morale, so they have plus one, and they have another plus one because of this uh, heat that uh, covers the ground. So they have a mod modifier of plus two and they get three, so it's five. So they have interception done. And our Swedes are moving like here. They have to lose their momentum because they are uh, moving up the slope. They have a formation shaken because they are moving up the slope. They spent one movement point because of moving up the slope. And now they are entering this hex. And uh, now, if they want, uh, they would be able to make their in, uh, cavalry fire, firing with their pistols. But uh, notice uh, this, uh, this thing that I told you about uh, the weather. So uh, we have an additional plus one modifier for all the uh, in, uh, infantry and cavalry fire. So for now, we would need to get uh, it would be really harder for us to score a hit. It, we, we would have minus one because we would have a, we are formation shaken and we would have minus one because of the Halmstadt. So uh, we would have minus two for our rolls. So we would get need nine to score a hit. Almost impossible. So I'm not going to use uh, my pistols here to fire. I will use them in the normal combat. Next them. One, two, momentum three and now these guys can intercept but notice that they are with commander so if they do they want to intercept well they might try even even if they are with commander well, they might try they are nine so this unit moves uh, up the steep slope uh, they are now formation shaken. They are not going to use their pistols anyway. So now them. One, two, momentum, three, four, five. They are moving up the steep slope and now this infantry fires at them in the reaction fire. Remember that they also have plus one, uh, <coughs> uh, minus one because of the rainy weather for their fire. So, wow, 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 they get nine. It is minus one because of the rainy weather and minus one because our target is moving cavalry. So the result is seven. Remember that they are at infantry with regimental guns. So they, they are, we are checking this part of the infantry fire table and we rolled seven. So it's two casualty hits and formation hit. Okay, they got two casualty uh, points and they, get, they got a formation hit, so they are formation broken now. And notice that normally uh, they would suffer probably at um, uh, casualty threshold, but because they are 4-8 units, they don't have to worry about it. Because units with strength that have that, uh, which is 4 or less and their morale is 8, they never get a casualty threshold. Even so, I need to check if they don't have to undergo a morale check. 
because they suffered two hits in the fire combat and units with uh, a morale of eight have to suffer three or more hits okay they are safe still they are formation broken so they are definitely not in the good shape okay now them one two three one two three one two three okay so that's uh, how well not wait <laughs> uh, i will move here they will move here as well because i have to move uh, in the direction of the nearest non-engaged enemy unit so now if they are here this artillery can fire at them yes because it is uh, it is on the edge of the slope so it is not here but here so it can see this cavalry so these are 1224 so these are culverines and they are firing on this cavalry we have uh, nine fantastic this is artillery fire and we are firing with culverines on the three hexes range no modifier and nine it is formation hit and morale check okay so uh, they are they have a formation hit and now they have to undergo a morale check they failed so they got their morale shaken and artillery is marked as firing okay so this concludes all the movement in this activation now we can resolve a combat okay let's start here we have three versus three so no strength ratio seven versus six so plus one for morale differential each side uh, is going to spend a pistol point so we have no uh, <coughs> modifier for pistols next uh, uh, we got terrain modifier because uh, <coughs> let me check uh, no no there is no terrain modifier because they are not attacking through the slope okay and now we have minus one because they are formation shaken while they are formation normal so modifiers of zero just a roll five it is a uh, defender morale shaken <coughs> yes defender retreat is one retreat is one hex attacker cannot advance so they are formation shaken because of combat one hex retreat and they are morale shaken attacker is uh, uh, the formation broken because of being involved in combat next here we have uh, now four versus three no strength ratio uh, strength ratio next we have eight versus seven so it's plus one for morale differential they have a commander so it's minus one for um, uh, for st uh, for uh, wait, sorry eight versus eight versus seven so it's minus one uh, so plus one for morale differential uh, commander minus one so it's zero next uh, each side expands a pistol point so we got pistol here and pistol there so it's zero again and attacker is uh, formation shaken so we got minus one so it is minus one and now let's make a roll nine oh good but it is minus one so it is eight so uh, <clears throat> defender morale broken defender retreats two hexes and uh, we have to make a roll for possible cavalry pursuit oh my god my counter fell okay so now they have a formation they have a morale broken so they retreat to hexes next uh, they uh, they have to make a roll for cavalry pursuit oh oh eight and we have plus one because we are under charge order so it's nine. Oh my nine pursue off map and eliminate so they are pursuing off map so let me place my okay they are in the cavalry pursuit this stack is eliminated uh, 
So this commander is placed here, we will check for his fate, uh, <coughs> and they are eliminated. Okay, so that's all. And next final battle goes here. Oh, oh, this is going to be roof. Okay, they have, uh, they have minus two, and they have two, so their strength is two, and their, their strength is two and a half. So it's three. So it's three versus half, so it's plus one, so it's minus one for the uh, defender. Next, uh, they have eight and they have seven, so it is plus one for the morale differential. Next, they are expanding a pistol shot, so they have plus one. And uh, finally, we, they have formation broken, so they have minus two, so it is minus one. Let's make a roll with minus one, it is six, minus one, it is five. So, attack, uh, def uh, def defender morale is shaken, so they have to retreat one hex, they are formation broken, sorry, formation shaken and morale is shaken, and they are formation broken and they cannot advance. Okay, so that's all for our attacks, mm -hmm, not, not, no good. <clears throat> I mean, not very bad, but it could be better. We eliminated one enemy unit, but one of our unit is pursuit of map. A good thing is that this commander is out of the board, so he won't be able <coughs> to uh, run, uh, to uh, activate his wing. Let's place this receive charge order here, so we will remember that this Danish wing has receive charge order. And no, no, sorry. <coughs> and uh, they still have one unit. Uh, uh, which is not broken or shaken, so this one, so they don't have to go into rally instantly. Okay, so that's all. Next, we are allowed to make uh, a, a roll for continuation. And now let's try. We got three. I think we got continuation with ease. Since we are under charge, we need zero to three, and we have a couple of good modifiers, so we got a continuation for this uh, unit. So he has a continuation, and now. Notice, uh, this unit under of his wing is fine, this unit of his wing is fine, so we don't have to check for all these units. Uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> we don't have to go under rally instantly, but I think I would like to rally my troops, because some of them are in pretty bad shape, so I want to change my order from charge into make ready. Why not into receive charge instantly? Because it's easier. So let's make a roll. I got four, so yes, I made it. I am now under receive, under uh, under make ready. Okay, so now when I'm under make ready, I'm going to move my commander here. He is uh, reforming this unit from uh, formation broken to the formation shaken. My army commander goes here and he rallies this unit from morale shaken to morale normal. This cavalry moves here, oh, commander is here, and this cavalry moves here and there, so they are moving here, so they have to undergo under formation shaken because they are moving up the steep slope, and now this unit might try to intercept them. Oh, let's try, we are under receive charge, and our morale is 5, so we got plus one because of the morale of six or less, and plus one because of the uh, terrain. So we got plus two. Oof. No, no, no way. So they are interception done. And I am not going to move any further because I am under make ready. Okay, so that's all for this activation. I mean, first continuation. And now they are going to try to get a second continuation. We got five, and now. We got minus two for the commander, so it's three. Minus one because we are cavalry wing, so it's two. And plus one because it is our second continuation, so it is three. And we are under make ready, so we need zero to two, so this is there is no continuation for them. So this is the end of this activation. And now we are activating other Swedish wing, 
wings because all the wings we uh, make ready have to uh, be activated before we will go into wings with receive charge. Okay, so who's going to be next? I think I will activate the middle wing and you can see that all these units are under receive charge sorry, under uh, formation shaken, they have a make ready. And the problem is that they are next to the stream. If they will move through the stream, they will get a formation hit. So they will get, be, uh, turn into formation broken. Doesn't sound good, right? So I want them to change uh, the, the order from make ready into receive charge. So let's try five. I got minus one, so it's four. And I am trying to change from make ready into receive charge. Okay, I made it. So I am under receive charge now. So now I am reforming all these units. So they are fine now. Good. And my artillery is going to fire at them. I am firing uh, uh, on the hex which is adjacent to the slope, so I can fire. If they would be he somewhere here, uh, one hex away of the slope, I wouldn't be able to hit them, I believe. So I am firing at this hex. I, th these are 4-8, so they are, let me check, they are Sakers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 6 hexes, six hexes for Sakers, it is minus 1. Oh, and it's 1, so it's 0. So, no hit. Okay, and that's all for this activation. I will roll for continuation now. Three. And I got minus one for commander, so it's two. But I think it is still not enough to get a continuation. Let me check. Two, when you are under receive charge, you need zero or one. So, they are finished. But at last, this wing is now fully operational. Okay, now this wing. They are cavalry, so it's good, but the problem is that they are they will have to move through the stream. And if they will move through the stream, they will also suffer this annoying uh, formation hit. If you are moving through the stream hexite, you have to spend uh, one movement point and then you get uh, a formation hit when, when you are a cavalry unit. Okay, so I am activating them with make ready or do I want to change into charge instantly? Hmm. I think I will try with make ready now. So one, two, three. And now they suffer a formation hit because of moving through the stream. And now these Danes will try to intercept them. They have morale of seven, so we get no negative roll for bonus for the morale. And wow, zero. These guys are something. So they intercept. Great. Great for them. Okay, so let's try and make this combat. So, 2 versus 3, it is minus 1. 7 versus 6, it's plus 1, so 0. Both sides are expanding a pistol shot, so we have no, uh, no modifiers for pistols. And next, uh, they are formation normal, they are formation shaken, so plus one. And we have a momentum, so we get another plus one. Yes, plus one, not plus two, because of this roof terrain. So we have plus two and four. This is six, so defender morale shaken. Defender retreat two hexes, attacker must advance into vacated hex. So they have to retreat two hexes, and now they are formation shaken, I mean, they are, sorry, they are formation broken and they are morally shaken. And I have to move here and now they are formation shaken because of being involved in combat. All right, now them. They are moving one, two and three. Oh, I forgot to mark them as uh, interception, sorry. I can only move two. Why? Because I am under make ready, so I cannot move adjacent to the enemy units. Mm -hmm. They are moving one, two, three. They suffer a formation hit. And now this cavalry rolls for interception. Nope, they don't have an interception. So they are marked as finished. And that's all for them. And my commander moves one, two. 
he is not going to move and uh, his unit stays here and commander moves here he's go he he will try to rally the, uh, and or reform this unit later all right that's all for now let's try to get a continuation oh no continuation definitely so that's all for this week okay we can remove this interception done counters oh i had one I left one here. Okay, so now we can activate Danish wings. This wing cannot be activated because commander is out of board, so we can we have to check for these two wings. I will start with this wing. They are under receive charge, but I think it's pretty tempting to start to try to attack these guys. I have a cavalry and uh, artillery, infantry with regimental guns. So I will try to get into charge, but it won't be easy since I am under receive charge and my commander is stupid guy with a mod modifier of zero. Okay, so let him try. <laughs> I would love to. Okay, so I have to stay under receive charge. This means that I can move still, one hex. So I will move my cavalry here. Uh, they they can intercept, but they doesn't want to. I can reform my units, so they are reforming themselves. They are back to normal. This infantry move here, and this cavalry with commander moves here. So that's all for this activation. Now I can roll for a possible continuation, but it won't be easy with receive charge. <laughs> I got it. I got the continuation. So now I definitely want to change into charge. So let's try. Ah, that's enough for my luck. So I am still under receive charge. So they cannot move because they cannot move adjacent to the enemy units. They are loading their pistols. And that's all for this uh, activation. Next, I will roll for possible continuation. No way. It was definitely way too much luck. And I am finished. Okay, and I have one last wing to activate this middle wing. So this this is mostly infantry wing, there are no cavalry units around, so I think I would like to move this wing a bit, because, uh, well, the problem is that in here we have a quite a complicated situation with a couple of our units being uh, beaten down, and I think that there is a danger of Swedish, Swedish, Swedish cavalry moving like that and attacking me from the flank. So maybe I should keep my uh, right wing secured. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I want to move all my units, but I definitely move some of them. I mean these two, they will move one hex, they can. And I think that's all for now. I'm not going to move any further. And uh, as for now, that's all for their activation. They are not going to do anything more. So I don't even need to get a continuation because I don't need this continuation. Okay, so that's all. They are go. They are marked as finished because they are not uh, going to do any more. Oh no! Wait a moment. Let's try to get a continuation. Ah, okay. We know that we won't get any continuation. So this concludes their activation, and this is the last activation in this uh, game in this uh, turn. So now we are moving, checking uh, road movement phase. Now, do we have any units with morale broken? At this stage of the game, it is not very often, but sometimes. No, no one is formation broken, so no one has to road. And we are going into marker removal phase. So we have to check for the fate of this commander. Zero. Oh, this is amazing. Return original leader immediately. So he returns of any of his units of his wing immediately. All right, let's place him here. And this concludes this turn. So, Swedes are doing pretty fine here. Danes are about, I think, to do something here. Well, the center, well, this is st still a clear case. We don't know what they will do. So I think the battle is starting nice and we will see what's going on later. We are going into turn two and now. 
Uh, first initiative. Uh, Swedes have two wings under uh, make ready, one wing under receive charge. Danes have three wings under receive charge. Well, they tried to change it, but they failed every time. So that's all for the uh, initiative. Swedes have an initiative. So they have to activate their wings first. And which one is I'm going to activate first? I think this wing. And uh, my goal is to make these guys uh, back to normal, so, <clears throat> or I want to attack. Well, this is just a turn two, so I think I will keep by this make ready. I will reform this unit. They remain formation shaken, uh, morale shaken, but they are now formation shaken as well, not formation broken. And I cannot reform them. So that's all for this activation. Now I will roll for possible continuation. I got four and I got minus two, so it's two. Great, so I have a continuation. Nice, that's what I wanted. And now I want to change my order into charge. Let's see if I will be able. Three, minus two and minus one because I have a cavalry unit, so it's minus three. So fine, I can go into charge. All right, that's what I wanted. So they are moving here. They are moving there. They are moving here. And now this heavy uh, infantry might fire at them. Let's see. Five. We got minus one because of the weather. Minus one because of the uh, uh, cavalry moving. So it's three. And three, it is one hit. So they suffer one casualty point. And they are four, six units. So I think they didn't reach their... Uh, casualty threshold. Yes, they reached their casualty threshold. Oh, this is bad. So they reached their casualty threshold and I have to make a roll for their morale check. Six. No, no. They have five. So they are morale broke. <laughs> and now because they are morale broken, they have to instant, instantly move two hexes away. No fucking way. Okay, as for them, they are moving here, they are moving through the stream, plus uh, formation hit. Now here, three, and now this cavalry will try to intercept them. No, they cannot. And they are not going to move any further. Their goal is to uh, prote protect this cavalry from the possible counterattacks. Okay, so that's all, and I have one combat to resolve here. So, uh, what do I have? I have four and three, so it's seven. Seven against two. Seven against two is three to one, so we got plus one. Next, morale. We have seven and five, so seven versus seven is uh, no more, no def. No, uh, uh, no modifier for uh, morale differential. They have a commander, so it's plus one. So it is plus two. Next, they are expanding a pistol shot, so they have plus one. They have plus one, so it's plus two. And they are spending a pistol shot, so it's plus one, so it's minus one, so we have plus one, plus two, and minus one, so it's plus one, so it's three. Oh, sorry, three, not one. <laughs> Next, they are attacking through the stream, and attacks to the stream provides uh, negative modifier minus one, so it is two. And they are formation normal, they are formation normal, they are formation shaken, so it is minus one, so it is total modifier of one, of plus one. Okay, let's go and make a roll. Ah, amazing! Plus one, so it's ten. So it's ten, so yes. Uh, defender eliminated. Attacker must move here. They got a formation shaken because of the combat and they got one, another formation hit because of moving down the stream. So they get they get, they have a morale um, formation broken, and now I have to roll for their uh, cavalry pursuit. First for them, 
8 and I got 9 because I am under charge order so they pursue off map no 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 I don't want to and now for them they are fine okay they they don't have to get any other negative modifier because of this combat okay now let's try to get a continuation we ma we made it fantastic but now i want to change them i want to change them because i lost another unit which made went into pursuit so i want to reform my, my some of my units so i want to go under a receive charge and it is going to be very hard because uh, when you are changing uh, into receive charge uh, with a cavalry wing you get additional negative modifier plus one so i have minus two because of the commander and i have uh, plus one because i have uh, the cavalry wing turning into receive charge seven seven minus one is six so i have to remain with a charge no good no good so uh, what i'm going to do i have to move all my units uh, one hex closer towards enemy uh, un unengaged uh, units so they are formation broken i believe they are morally shaken yes they should be formation broken because they were involved in combat so yes they are formation broken and morally shaken there is i will use this counter to mark it so there will be not a big stack they are morally broken so they are they cannot uh, do anything and they can move but where they are going to move i think they will move here and now this uh, these are uh, these infantry fires at them oh they failed completely they have minus two so it is nothing it is a miss so now that's all and who's they are going to attack infantry or cavalry remember that inactive player might use uh, his own unit which is not attacked so i think i will try to attack infantry and first of all now cavalry attacks me they have three versus four so it's uh, minus one they have morale six versus morale of six so no modifier <clears throat> they spend the pistols and they spend the pistols too uh, defender is formation shaken so they get plus one so it is zero and they get four four attacker morale shaken attacker retreat one hex so they are morale shaken and formation shaken as well because of being involved in combat attacker uh, cannot advance okay that's fine and now they are formation broken because they were fighting and now they have to attack this uh, infantry they have four versus uh, three so no uh, modifier for uh, strength next they have six versus seven because of morale so it is minus one next they are kiaziers fighting against infantry heavy infantry so it is again minus one so it's minus two next they are formation broken so they get another minus two so they have minus four and they are expanding a pistol shot so this is plus one so they get minus three. Oh shit i th i think this is going to end bad Two, six not bad but still minus three is three attacker morale shaken attacker retreat two hexes defender may advance into vacant hex so they have to retreat two hexes they are formation broken and morale shaken well they are not going to advance they will stay like here and this concludes this activation so that was i think their last activation so they are now uh, they they, uh, they they finish their activation but notice one thing they are morally broken they are formation broken and they are formation broken this means that this wing instantly goes under rally order they cannot uh, if they cannot get a continuation they cannot do anything their activation and instantly and they they will have to rally themselves so let's mark him as finished to remember about it this is pretty important because in my previous games i uh, sometimes i 
forgot about it, place an other uh, counter above, and then I had a problem if this wing was activated or not. So using this uh, site is pretty important to keep uh, the order of battle. Okay, so that was their all activation, and now we have to activate this Swedish wing. Okay, this wing is under make ready, <clears throat> and I think this is a good moment to say, come on guys, stop, and you would uh, like to reform yourself a bit. So <clears throat> now, do I want to use make ready order, or do I want to change into receive charge? As you probably remember, it is uh, harder to get out of the receive charge, so <clears throat> maybe staying with make ready will be a good idea. Okay, so I will do so. So this guy is reforming this unit, so they are go ba get back into formation normal. <clears throat> My King Carl 11 goes here and he reforms this unit, so they go back into formation shaken. And uh, this cavalry moves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and they are <clears throat> formation shaken because of moving up the steep slope. Okay. So that's my activation. Next I will roll for possible continuation. Nope, seven. Well, wait, wait. I got minus two from the commander, minus one from cavalry wing, so it's three. So I have minus three, so it's four. But for the continuation with make ready, I need zero to two. So nope, we don't get continuation. No good. All right. So that's all for the <coughs> units with make ready. Now we are going to the wings with receive charge. So all, all, all of Dane, uh, Dane army uh, <coughs> wings are under receive charge, so they can activate themselves. All right, let's check for this wing. They are morally shaken. They are morally shaken, and they are a part of left wing. Yes, they are a part of left wing, and they are not. So we don't have to, under, to go under rally, but we are dangerously close too. So I will move this commander. No, I will, won't move him. I will rally this unit with my commander. I can rally automatically uh, units with commander when I'm under receive charge. And I will do no more. Next, I will try to get a continuation. Nope, I don't get a continuation. Ah, uh, that's bad. Okay, we have uh, this and that wing to activate, and this wing. So, who's going to be to be good? first? I think this Danes uh, they are going they, they are now to be activated. So I will activate this wing, and first of all, I am moving my army commander here. He can rally this unit from the formation shake, from the morale shaken to the morale normal. And now uh, I'm, uh, I will activate uh, this wing. They are under receive charge. And uh, do I want to do something? Well, I'm, I'm going to change my comment from receive charge into make ready. Well, let me see if I will be able to do so. Five. I have no modifier. Oh, I have minus one. So from receive charge into make ready, I need zero to five. So I made it. So I am now under make ready. So this gives me more freedom. And now uh, I will fire with my artillery here. I am not firing through the dead uh, hex because I am on the edge of the hex. So let's make a roll. Oh, six. These are culverines. And we have six. So this is formation hit. They are formation shaken. So they are now formation broken. Okay, guns are used. And now my infantry. Do I want to move with this infantry? I think I will do it. I move here and there. They will move here and they will stay here protecting this uh, artillery. Okay, so that's all for this activation. 
And now let's make a roll for possible continuation. I got 5, minus 1 from the commander is 4, so this is still not enough to activate this wing, so this activation is done. So he is finished. And now Swedes. They are activating this wing with make ready. And first of all, this artillery fires here. It's firing up the slope. Do I have any modifier for that? Up steep slope. No modifiers for fire combat. These are falcons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, this is a miss. No good. Now, I think I will, I, I will move one hex only. So they are moving here. They are moving here and they are crossing the stream so they get formation shaken. Same goes to them. Same goes to them. And same goes to them. And same goes to the unit with a commander. And now I want to get uh, my uh, continuation. So I will be able to use my receive uh, charge to get uh, back into formation normal. Well, that's the plan. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to do it because I'm finished. All right. So he's finished. And now the last wing remains and they have uh, one, uh, one unit under formation shaken, morale shaken and one unit formation normal and one unit formation shaken. So I think I will stay with uh, this uh, receive charge. I will go here and rally this unit. They will reform themselves. And now I will try to roll for a continuation. Six, no continuation for me either. And yeah, oh no, they are from the center. Okay, so I don't, I cannot activate them now. And this concludes their activation and this turn, because we have no more units to activate in this turn. Okay, next we have to check for road movement. Uh, do we have any units with morale broken? Yes, we have one here. So he is, this is cavalry unit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They are running away of the battlefield. No good. And uh, any other units? No. So this is all for uh, road movement. Next, uh, we are going into marker removal phase. And we don't have any commanders to check. Uh, they are still, uh, all of them are still on board, so nothing uh, to worry about so far. And I think this concludes turn uh, two. So as you can see, the situation differs on uh, on the wings. Here, Swedes are definitely the winning side, while here Danes are doing slightly better. <coughs> In the center, we can say nothing about the situation because no, there was no combat so far and both sides are slowly approaching each other. So I think that the turns three and four might be quite important and maybe even decisive. So for today, that's all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.